Hello second graders, my name is Coach Hill and in this video, I'm going to get you ready for the Review Olympics. What are the Olympics? Well today, the, we do the Olympics just for fun. In the Olympics, people from countries all around the world compete in different sporting events. In today's Olympics, we have events like basketball. Gymnastics. Today, we also run in the Olympics. We have a lot of different sports that we do in the Olympics, from hockey to soccer, and even in the Winter Olympics, we ski and bobsled and figure skate. But in ancient Olympics, they only had Summer Olympics, and they mostly did foot races, chariot races, and discus throwing. In ancient Greece, the Olympics were started to honor Zeus, the king of all gods. We talked about the 12 major Greek gods and goddesses here in this picture. Think of the gods and goddesses that we learned about. Do you think you could name them? In our picture, we have Hera, Zeus's wife and the goddess of women, Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, her husband, Hephaestus, who is the god of fire and the, the blacksmith of the gods. We also have Demeter, Zeus's sister and the goddess of nature and plants. Athena, goddess of wisdom and war. Ares, god of war. Artemis, the huntress goddess of wilderness and animals. Apollo, her twin brother and the goddess of music, poetry and light. Hermes, the messenger of the gods. and Poseidon, Zeus's brother, and the god of the sea. All right, second graders, drop and give me 10. During the Olympics, all city-states would put aside their differences if they were fighting to make the Olympics a safe and enjoyable time for everyone. We talked about a couple of different city-states in ancient Greece. The first one that we talked about was Sparta. In Sparta, the people were focused on war and on becoming strong warriors. The men in Sparta began training for life in the army at a very young age and were in the army for their whole lives. Life in Sparta was harsh and difficult and the Spartan people exercised great self-control. These people did not have a lot of luxuries or comforts and lived tough lives. We also talked about the city-state Athens. Remember, Athens was named for the goddess Athena, who promised the Greeks that settled there an olive tree if they honored her. That olive tree was very special, and there were a lot of different uses for it. Turn to your neighbor or whoever's helping you today, and see if you can name at least two different uses for the olive and the tree that Athena gifted these people. There are a lot of things you could have told your neighbor. You could have said that the oil is good for your skin and makes it healthy that it's good for cooking and makes all foods taste delicious, that the oil can be used to light lamps and light up the darkest of nights, that the olives themselves are good for eating, that the oil could be traded, the trees provide shelter, and wood that is perfect for carving, for bowls, and furniture. Life in Athens was very different than life in Sparta. Where the Spartans lived very uncomfortable lives with few luxuries, Athens had many comforts. Instead of focused, being focused on war, the Athenians were focused on knowledge and learning and on architecture or how buildings are designed and the arts. We talked about the sculptor Myron who created a statue called the Discus Thrower. Here is a picture of Myron's famous statue, the discus thrower. 
Next, you'll see Coach Hill throwing a discus. Another very important contribution that we got from the Greek city-state Athens was democracy. Democracy is a special type of government which lets the people have a voice in their government. Most Greek city-states had a king that made all of the decisions for the people. And in Sparta, they had two kings in case one of them died. But in Athens, they started using a government of democracy. In a democracy, instead of a king, the people will vote on a leader. They vote for the person that they think will do the best job as their leader for a set amount of time. When that leader's time is up, they will vote to elect or choose a new leader. In the United States, the type of government that we have is a republic, but it is described as a democratic republic. That means that we util utilize democracy and its ideals in how our government works. In America, we elect officials to represent the different states in our larger government. And the Greeks in Athens did that as well. The Athenians were also focused on other visual arts, like these paintings. In these paintings, we have a picture of the ocean and of some mountains. Remember, the land in Greece was very rocky and rugged, which made it very difficult for people to farm. But there was one special plant that grew in abundance in ancient Greece, and that was Athena's olive tree. That was an important job in Greece, was to farm the olive trees. Another important job in ancient Greece was to be a shepherd who took care of sheep and other animals. The ancient Greeks also were seafarers. Remember, a seafarer is anyone who makes a living on the water. So seafarers did things like fishing and exploring. All right, second graders, let's do 20 jumping jacks. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, my friends, let's look at our map of ancient Greece. In our map, we can see some of those city states that we talked about. Down here we have the city-state Sparta. Up above is Athens. Way up in the northern part of ancient Greece is Mount Olympus, where the ancient Greeks believed that the gods lived. Remember, Greece is surrounded by three different seas, the Mediterranean Sea, the Aegean Sea, and the Black Sea. That's why seafaring was such an important job for the, the people that lived in ancient Greece. They used these waters to trade on, and they caught lots of fish there to trade, as well as to eat. All right, I think Coach Hill has got you as ready for this as you can be. I think you're ready to take a little quiz about what we've learned so far. So far. We'll get started, but first, Let's watch some of the bloopers from our video. I hope you are ready to show me everything that we've learned about ancient Greece so far. Go ahead and open up the PDF attached to this assignment in Kami. It should look like this one. This is our mid-domain assessment. I'm going to have you do this along with me, follow along with me on yours. 
and I will tell you what to do for each question. On question number one, I want you to circle the map that shows the location of the ancient Greek civilization. Which of these maps has the arrows pointing to the ancient Greek civilization? Remember, if you need to pause between questions, you are welcome to do so. On number two, I want you to circle which image best shows the city-state Sparta. Which of these shows Sparta? On number three, I want you to circle the image that best shows the city-state Athens. Which of these shows Athens? Number four has two different descriptions of land. We're going to pick the group of words that best describes the land that the ancient Greeks settled on. Was the land in ancient Greece rugged, rocky, with many mountains and good for growing olives? Or was the land that the ancient Greeks settled on flat, wet, and good for growing many different types of food? If we scroll down to number five, on number five, I want you to name one contribution from the ancient Greeks. What is one contribution from the ancient Greeks? On number six, I want you to name one Greek god or goddess that we talked about on this first line. And then here where it says description, I want you to write one or two sentences describing the god or goddess that you selected. Remember that each god or goddess in ancient Greece was known for at least one special thing. And lastly, my friends, on number seven, seven is asking which city-state would you rather live in as a seven-year-old? Would you have rather lived in Athens or Sparta? Circle the city-state that you would have rather lived in, and then I want you to give me two, one or two sentences explaining why you made the choice that you did. Use some of the information and facts that we learned about ancient Athens and ancient Sparta to justify or explain your answer. When you are done with that last question, go ahead and turn it in and you are finished with knowledge today.